Hi everyone, Paul here with PTZ Optics and we're doing another Hive tutorial. In this video, we're gonna take a look at all the camera settings that you have in Hive. Let's take a look at the interface here and I'm gonna use this camera right here to show off these settings. Now, each of the cameras or sources in your studio are on the left-hand side. Uh, you can name these by double-clicking them and changing them to whatever you like. Uh, so I highly recommend kind of naming these. Uh, when you click the little cog in the right-hand side, you get some basic settings that I wanted to go over. Actually, these are called the advanced settings. Uh, and these advanced settings are the video protocol for bringing in video, the stream URL, uh, flipping the camera horizontal or vertical, these settings are essentially the settings that you usually only need to set once. Uh, these are not the settings that you need all the time on the fly, but these are the more detailed settings for the NDI format, for multicast, for the streaming. So you've got these here, and your make and model of your camera, for example, and your control protocols. So those are there. But on the right-hand side, uh, that is kind of always available that you need more frequently is all the PTZ camera controls and image settings that are available to you. Now, image settings in particular give you the ability to set presets. And a preset is specifically valuable for color correction. And we're going to look at color correction in an upcoming video. But I just wanted to go over high level some of the features here of camera control, and images. Now, PTZ Optics Hive supports over 400 camera drivers. So these are direct control over what's possible with the camera. We're not adding on top of, we are controlling actual focus modes. So we'll go into autofocus here. And the options that are available directly on the camera. So we can do focus lock, for example, determine our pan tilt zoom speed, which can be different. We can do variable. Uh, for example, let's kind of give ourselves a little bit more space to see this. We can do custom range for how quickly we want the camera to move. And we have all the pan tilt zoom functions for going into quick shots and manual movements. So this is a lot of the different settings here are all on the right-hand side for control. Obviously, you have your joystick and your on-screen controls, which are great for quick movements as needed. But we have the image settings and controls here. Now, the image settings are going to be things like your iris, your shutter speed, the gain, the white balance, your color correction tools. And the nice thing about this is with the 400 camera drivers that we support, if you have different camera manufacturers, you can now have one single unified interface that will be the same for all of those different camera manufacturers. So looking at these presets just really quickly, if, I have, if I'm a church and I have a lot of natural light coming in to my space in the mornings and then it's more uh, fluorescent or LED light in the afternoons, I can create a preset which maybe has a smaller aperture when there's a lot of light and then a wider aperture when there's a lot of light and I can get those all those camera settings saved and have a preset so I can quickly jump between them. Just to give you an example, we'll set another one here. What's happening is essentially the iris is changing here. All right, so that is how you can control your cameras and all the different camera settings and camera movements in Hive. I'll see you in the next tutorial.